after a one-all draw in full normal time here in the Somerset Premier Cup, we go for on penalties after two saves from Dan Lavercum, and we're here with head of football Rob Dre for all his post-match thoughts. Rob, what do you make tonight? Uh, painful in the areas, if I'm being honest, um, but we, it was important we got the job done. It didn't matter how we do that, and when we got there in the end, um, I thought first half we were we made things very easy for them. Um, we tried to take the adrenaline out of the game, but we went off plan a little bit at times and um, yeah, made it very easy for them. And then conceded a really soft goal again, which is which is really disappointing for me tonight. That was a really poor goal, really poor goal. But you know, look at the chances we had. We probably we made enough chances, made enough insertions to the box, um, and didn't get on the end of stuff. So so disappointing first half, I must say. Um, but second half, I think we saw that the levels and the fitness especially were really told. And, um, you know, I think they had one corner. I don't think they had a shot really second half. You know, we just we were encamped and uh, couldn't get the second one. Uh, but again, our quality was a lot better. The stats say, which Jordan's just done for me now, the stats say that we were a lot, lot better in terms of our cross count, in terms of our searches to the box, in terms of the stuff we were getting on the end of. Um, so that's good. But we should be better we should be better but we got the job done so whilst it was the same squad as Saturday against AV it was a much changed starting 11 with Van der Grubb coming in Louis Slough uh, Marcus Day how do you think the uh, the changes performed tonight a few of them we, we want to have, we want to get some game time into them um, and we've got I think we've got to remember that you know some of these lads have come from certain steps and they haven't played too much at the, at the moment so it's always going to be difficult for them but um we wanted to mix the time up as well, so it's important that we got the others on later on in the game and gave us a little boost as well. So, uh, yeah, no, please, I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased with Slowy. I thought Slowy was good tonight, done well tonight. I think he was probably our best player tonight. So, pleased for him. He's had to be a little bit patient. Talk about the changes. We introduced some more experienced names around the 60th minute mark. Uh, do you think that had a uh, big impact on the result? Yeah, we we wanted to, we tweaked the shape a little bit. Went to a back four, uh, went to a four three three, and then just really pushed. Uh, Chamber and Zach and give us loads of legs. Chamber was outstanding tonight again. Um, a round job for all the drop downs. The pitch is very difficult at the moment, we know that. Um, so we had to be, take a slightly longer pass and take a pass out in the middle third because it's, it was very easy for them to, to get a half press on us. So, yeah, that was the reasons for that. Uh, I must say that their keeper was, you know, by far their best player tonight. I thought he's for a 16 year old kid, he showed some, yeah, really, really good, really good Isaac tonight. Very pleased for him. So, uh, skipper Nick Grimes outmatched their squad for the second game in a row. How far is he away from coming back into the fold? Yeah, Grimes will be fit Saturday. Yeah, he'll be, he'll be back Saturday. So, that's a, that's a big boost for us. Um, we need him back. Always miss your skipper and it'll just freshen things up a little bit. He's fresh and quality. A couple of lads were tired tonight, you know, at the end of that because it's quite two, two games on that pitch. is quite tough. And we talk of defenders. News broke this morning that Austin Booth bought himself out of his contract and has now to part of the club. Uh, what's your reaction to that as a manager? Uh, another another one gone to full time football. So uh, in some respects, you you're very pleased for for these lads who are going to play full time. Um, um, but at the same time, you know, you, we we gave him a chance, or uh, we took a little bit of a punt on him. I didn't think it was much of a punt. He, he said to me when I spoke to him on the phone yesterday morning, that we took, I took a gamble on him. I don't think it really was to be fair because I always could see that he was good enough to go on again. Um, so uh, listen, yeah, terrible to lose a player of his his caliber, um, another one. So, but listen, please for the lad, he's he's got the opportunity to get, to go and play full time football. So we've lost another one to the squad, as you mentioned. I would be looking to bring in some reinforcements. Uh, we, we're still looking. Um, you know, it's it's, it's going to be low knees really, and the, the obviously the transfer deadline ends tomorrow. So uh, things might become a little bit more clear and clearer next week with some of the things going on at the pro clubs. So we move on to Saturday and Tuesday. We have Welling and Truro, uh, which I'm sure will be two difficult games. One, like us, is scrapping against relegation, but the other one is a little bit higher from the table. What are your preparations going to be going into those two games? Uh, I think we're just impressed with them. We've got to be a lot, lot better than we were tonight um, in every area. Our, our, our pass selection, our everything, we've got to be so much better. These games are notoriously tricky tonight because teams come down and they're a couple of levels lower and they do things you don't quite get on a, on a Saturday. and. Regardless of what I say, you, you do drop your levels. There's nothing you can do about that. Um, but listen, Welling and True are two big games. Like you know, we've 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 got to find five wins um, as a bare minimum to to stay in this division. Like we're in a dogfight. 
there's no doubt, no ifs and buts about it. So it's one of those things that we've got to address. We know what we've got to do. And listen, if we if we show like we did against Avely, um, and we showed a little bit of heart today and a little bit of quality, we've got to get a little bit better with our quality in the last third, I think, and s stop conceding bad goals. Um, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. But Grimesy back makes a big is a, is, a, is a big plus for us. And who is your man of match? Sorry, right, Rob. Slavi, I think tonight. I think he deserves it. He's been. A, he's uh, had to be patient, but a little bit out of position still. And I thought. I thought Louis done well. He's, he's. He's put himself about well tonight. Thank you very much, Rob. Thank you, mate.